What's some basic knowledge that a scary amount of people don't know? Antibiotics do not work on a virus. Edit. I did not expect this to blow up this much. Thank you so much for the awards and the shared information. Oh Jesus this. All these idiots demanding antibiotics for the most minor sniffle, and the spineless doctors prescribing them are literally creating superbugs, making everything worse for everyone. Antibiotic resistance is real peeps. Edit. For the folks who keeping saying but if viruses aren't affected by antibiotics, then how can this possibly create superbugs? Simple. It's not the viruses. They aren't affected by antibiotics. It's the bacteria that we naturally have in our bodies that actually acquires the resistance first. When we have natural antibiotic resistant bacteria in our body, bad bacteria is able to acquire the same resistance from our natural bacteria, thus creating superbugs. The point is still the same though unnecessarily taking antibiotics for viruses triggers the process that leads to superbug creation via antibiotic resistance. How long it takes a semi truck to stop? It always makes me mad when I pass a semi, give them enough space before getting abbed over, and some ass decides that the space I was leaving for the semi to need to stop is actually for his dumbass to slide into. Not to pour water into hot oil. Edit. Damn. This blew up. I'll also add that that this may not be basic knowledge but it should be. I myself only found out from one of my science electives in year 11 stroke 12 and even then it was a topic that only came up after a student asked my teacher about an incident that popped up on the news so chances are it would never have been mentioned. Otherwise, school should at least have a lesson program highlighting the common risks at home and the methods to avoid contain them. I put a tiny drop in to know if it's ready sometimes. That pretty much every machine requires maintenance. Think dishwashers, washing machines, cars, mowers, etc. They aren't magic boxes, and they will last longer if you know how to maintain them. My mother-in-law is in her 80s and until recently didn't know that the dishwasher needs its filters cleaning every so often. Edit. Since this blew up a bit, for those that would like to locate their dishwasher's filters, they are different for every make and model. You'd do well to google the make and model of the unit and see if you can find a manual. Maybe even YouTube will have some information YouTube is a great resource for learning about things. Taking my dishwasher as an example, there are some reasonably obvious plastic pieces in the bottom of the washing area that can be slid out unscrewed. There are three parts to my filter. Rubber gloves when touching them might be a good idea. Cleaning them is as simple as taking a brush and some soapy water to them to remove all the gunk before reinstalling. You can also buy a plastic bottle full of chemicals that you put into the dishwasher. You run a cycle and the chemicals clean throughout the unit. I do both because I like a clean dishwasher. I do it every month or so, or whenever I notice that dishes aren't getting as clean as they should or some not clean smell. Edit. Thanks for the awards. Now clean your dishwashers. And computers. A scary number of people seem to think it's all about software wrapped in magic. They just can imagine mechanical, electrical issues, not even heating. How to spot an obvious scam. I know right? That's why I'm offering a $5,000 course on how to avoid scams. Enroll today. If you haven't learned what a scam is by the end of the course, money back guaranteed. First aid. People living alone please google how to do a heemlich on yourself and remind yourself regularly. It could save your life when you have no one else around. A guest requested their chicken to be cooked medium rare this week. The salmonella just makes it more tasty. That you should wait for people to get off the elevator when it arrives at your floor, instead of cramming yourself in when the doors open, blocking their departure, and keep walking when you go through a door or step off an escalator. Tax brackets. Edit. Great example video. Here. HTTPS colon slash slash. Yahoo. This drives me effing crazy. I work in manufacturing and make enough that we're right below the threshold for the next tax bracket. So many of my co-workers refuse to take overtime only because they think they'll actually make less money on their paycheck than if they didn't. How to merge in traffic. Specifically zip imaging. How to tell if food has gone bad. When I worked in a meat department, we got like one call a day from people saying I bought this X days ago, is it still good? 
Lady, I'm not there with you. This ain't a smell of foam. You're going to have to use your own senses and brain on this one. My mum will always use meat before the date on the package and refuse to use meat even one day after. It's infuriating. I've had too many conversations that go. Man, this bacon doesn't taste right. Yeah, I know. It smelled funky in the package. Two. Then why did you cook it? It doesn't expire until tomorrow. Where their water shoot off is in their house. Also that turning off the water doesn't magically depressurize your pipes. If you've got a leak or are DIYing some plumbing you need to open up force it so the water already in the pipes drains out. Just because it's natural doesn't mean it is automatically healthy. Just because it is artificial or synthetic doesn't mean it is automatically bad for you. Had my GF tell me yesterday that carbonated water was bad for you because it has too many chemicals in it. I almost screamed back it has too. Evidence-based reasoning and what evidence means. Prove it. That the scientific meaning of theory isn't what the colloquial sense means. True. Colloquial meaning of theory is hypothesis. It is very easy to not block the whole aisle with your cart at the grocery store. Related. The grocery store is not the place to host your family reunion. How a four-way stop works. Every hurricane in Florida weaves several traffic lights go out. People are supposed to treat it like a four-way stop, but instead they do this nonsense. Oh, he went. Ten more of us will go. It's fine. I actually saw one light where people were doing it correctly after Ian and I nearly s myself I was so shocked. I'd almost prefer that to what happens in the Midwest. Every four-way stop is a nightmare because people want to be polite and wave at you to go first. Even if they were sitting there stopped before you even rolled up. Be predictable, not polite. Overdosing on Tylenol, acetaminophen paracetamol, in large enough doses will prove fatal. The death is slow, painful and cruel, and there's nothing that can be done about it save for a liver transplant which, good luck with that. Edit. Several commenters have correctly pointed out that if treated quickly enough, there is an antidote for this poisoning and there can be a full recovery. When I wrote nothing can be done, I was referring to the point in time when end-stage liver damage and failure have occurred. Edit 2. Many commenters now querying what constitutes a large enough dose. With the caveat that mileage may vary with age. Other medications. Alcohol. Existing liver damage. 12 grams of Tylenol as a single dose. Or 24 times 500 milligrams tablets if you prefer. Left without medical attention. Is potentially fatal. Effects are cumulative so frequent. Smaller overdoses over a longer mefrain will give the same end-stage liver disease and damage. For a medication that is widely recognized as well tolerated and therefore safe. It sorta kinda ain't that. A friend who was working in the ER had to tell a patient that the fistful of Tylenol that they took as a sort of way to guilt their recent ex by sending pics was not in fact harmless and that they didn't just have a bad stomach ache or appendicitis and that they weren't going to survive due to waiting so long to seek help and they needed to get their family their ASAP. You can pick the better of two evils and still not like either choice. Related. You don't need to be 100% for one thing and 100% against something else. Every election referendum ever. Don't dive in the water to save a drowning person. They will kill you. Throw them a flotation device. Hand them a broomstick and pull them to safety. Do not get in the water with a panicking person. Wait until they are unconscious and then dive in to retrieve them. Source. Years of swim lessons and unfortunately knowing somebody who has died trying to rescue somebody. My dog. Who swims just fine. Damn near drowned me in water that I could stand in and keep my head above. He must have brushed up against a plant or something and just started to panic. And just like a drowning human would do. Started grabbing at me trying to hold on. Which was of course. Pushing me under for a minute there. Thankfully. He's only 50 pounds. So I just got away from him turned around, and picked him up. I can't swim anyway. So y'all will not be catching me trying to save a drowning human. Dog tax. Comma https colon slash slash. Imgur. 
There's a long handle on the side behind your steering wheel that when you flick it up or down it turns an orange flashing light on that tells other drivers around you which way you're going to be turning. I've noticed a growing number of people signaling the opposite direction than they are turning lately. I don't know what the hell is going on with that but it seems to be more and more common lately here in Toronto. Don't bother wild animals. I'm sure it's just natural selection at this point. But the amount of stupid people I see walking up to wild creatures for video footage is irritating tbh. Bonus points if the human gets hurt haha. <laughs> With the corollary of wild animals are not good pets. Not just things like lions and tigers. As made infamous by bad reality tv as well as Sigmund and Roy. But there are several other exotic animals that just do not make good pets. I have a friend who kind of stumbled into rescuing sugar gliders from people who thought they were cute and were woefully unprepared to care for them. They require enormous amounts of effort. Fresh organic food JN specific quantities. A huge variety in their diet everything from fruit to almonds to mealworms in balanced quantities. They are truly nocturnal which means they don't like being bothered during the day. They don't particularly like being touched or handled. And they literally scream at night. As an added bonus, vets don't really have a lot of experience with them. So if and when something happens, the vet is just as likely to be as confused as you are if they are even willing to see you in the first place. And yet people get scammed into thinking they are a cute equivalent to hamsters or something. As someone who rescues animals it's often appalling how little effort people put into caring for their pets in general. How little they understand the needs of the animal. But owning exotics is like the epitome of ignoring reality. Don't put water on a grease fire. This is when your pan pot catches fire while cooking. Cover it with the pot or pan lid and turn off the heat. Edit. People in the replies have also added that baking soda and salt can work to smother the fire. Additionally a grease fire safe extinguisher is a good thing to have in your kitchen. If the grease fire cannot be smothered, baking soda puts out a grease fire. If you run out of baking soda, salt also can help put it out. It takes a lot of both though. Women don't pee through their V. We know that. Politicians are government employees. They literally work for you. Hold them accountable. And for FS sake, don't make them your personality. That not all internet news is real. Or the news in our papers and on the news on TV. How to swim. I have mastered the art of not drowning in water I can't stand in. The difference between there, there, and there. Loose and loose infuriates me. Sit properly in any vehicles. Leg injuries are no joke and you can even dislocate break your legs easily in a car crash because your legs wear on the dashboard. Yeah but how else am I supposed to look cool whilst I drive? CTRL plus C. CTRL plus V. CTRL plus W equals instantly close a tab on a browser. CTRL plus Shift plus T equals reopen the last closed tab. Bonus. CTRL plus shift plus N equals opens incognito tab window. You can't reopen tabs on incognito once it's gone it's gone. Non po bonus. CTRL plus shift plus escape to open task manager instead of doing CTRL alt delete. Much easier keybind to hit. Ponies are small horses, not baby horses. Not to be confused with miniature horses. Financial literacy. It is so so important but a lot of people just don't know s. This. I never used to budget or anything. And now in my. Late omg. 30s my job role expanded to include budgeting. Now I apply it to outside of work and it's just instantly halved any finance stresses I had. They should teach this stuff in school to be honest. That mixing bleach and pine sol creates toxic fumes that can actually kill you if they build up too much in a room. A scary number of people actually do this though in their laundry or when cleaning their homes. Yes, everyone knows about bleach and ammonia, but they seem to think that's all there is. Fact is, many cleaning products can produce toxic fumes when mixed. Cooking. Right. It is so simple. Buying the ingredients for meth is the hard part. Years and years ago I read a book that took place in Australia. I'm in the USA. In the book it was Christmas time. And also summer time because that's how it works. 
the narrator described Christmas decorations that were now themed, Santa still in his red suit, etc. And I thought it was interesting that the decorations were still winter themed even though it was summer. Anyway, I went around to like 56 people at work trying to tell them that I found this info mildly interesting. And I always started with you know how December is summer in Australia, and literally not one person knew that. Like, everyone was confused about it. I felt like I was taking crazy pills because I thought that was common knowledge. Or see here, as a kid I had a Christmas shirt with Santa surfing in swimming shorts. Unsolicited advice is generally going to be taken as criticism. Criticizing the people in your personal life creates distance. Burting in where you aren't wanted is going to harm your relationships with other people, and they are going to take your opinions and advice less seriously over time because they'll think of you as a nudgy now at all. Overbearing people get tuned out. Instead, first ask yourself if your advice is even needed. Does this affect you? Is this an emergency? Is anyone going to be harmed if you don't put your oar in? Are you being asked for advice? Or is this person just sharing information about their day and building their relationship with you? And if you do need to weigh in, try leading with, may I make a suggestion? Otherwise, you're going to rile the other person up. And on the flip side, if you have a nudgy now at all in your life, it's best to simply pause them with a calm and polite, thanks, but I didn't ask. If you try to explain your life to them, they see it as an invitation to be even more overbearing. I met a very sophisticated British man at a wedding a while back, and I'll never forget learning this advice from him. I just saw overheard him speak to someone and he began with would you mind if I offered up a bit of advice. Having been in that situation before, dart. He then proceeded to wait for permission before giving advice. It had never occurred to me what a kinder way to speak to someone that could be, as well as extrapolated out to many kinds of conversational tools. Drowning doesn't usually look like drowning on TV. 9 stroke 10, it's just silent. The person goes under and doesn't come back up. And choking doesn't look like choking as seen on TV either. If there's any hacking coughing, they aren't choking and don't need a Heimlich maneuver. You only use the Heimlich if there's no sound coming out of their mouth. I worked in a care home. I literally had a lady choke to death on me. It was silent. I did the Heimlich. It didn't work. Another resident thought we were hurting the lady and was attacking us to get off her the whole time. The chest compressions didn't work to keep her alive until until the paramedics arrived. We ended up in court over it. It was the most horrific experience of my life. I will never work in care again. I did the job for 12 years before that. The elites don't want you to know this but the ducks at the park are free you can take them home I have 458 ducks. The elites are punching the air right now. Reddit is not real life. Social media in general. Especially when you look around at your local demographic. None of this reflects. That Africa is not a country. Also, not all black people are African American. Cops can lie to you. Cops are also not obligated to read you your Miranda rights upon arrest unless they are going to interview you, which they usually won't when they are on scene. However, that doesn't mean they won't use anything you say still against you. So keep your damn mouth shut when dealing with cops. Wait until you have a lawyer present. How to check if a source is credible. Edit. How to actually check if a source is credible. Identify the author and check their credentials. Also, see who their employer is, and consider how it might impact their biases. Compare headlines to the actual content of the article. Is it intentionally misleading to provoke an emotional response? Think about whether it's done to intentionally misdirect people. Check the date the article was published. When it was released could change if the information is outdated. Fact check the story by using websites like Fact Check. Or Dig deep to see if the news article cites sources and traceable quotes. Check if the URL has any misspellings or odd use of language. Important things to remember. Always consult multiple sources. Social media is not a reliable source. Looking at you, Facebook. Be open-minded and fight against confirmation bias. Avoid predictive searching so you don't get trapped in an echo chamber. Obligatory thanks for the upvotes. That Epipens and Narcan do not stop reactions overdoses. 
that a lot of things should not be put in your body. But, on the other hand, a lot of things should. How to talk to people. Like, in general, stuff like basic phone etiquette, greeting, ending a conversation. I reckon this is only going to get worse. That chimpanzees are apes. Also, monkeys aren't chimpanzees. The pandemic really drove the point home for me that a very large number of people do not understand the concept of probability. See also, any casino. Billion dollar companies don't care about you so stop simping for them. Basic car maintenance for car owners. Honestly I partially blame cars. In my old car, it's no problem to change a light bulb, but in the new one, you need to change the whole light. That women can become pregnant after unprotected sex, seems to surprise a lot of people. I want to share an anecdote of my last encounter, we were ready, so I said, I'll be right back to which she replied where are you going? I said, to get a condom and she said why? Now, I took that why to mean something like, you don't need one, it's okay. I'm on the pill or whatever, to mean that there was no reason or need to wear a condom or any risk in not wearing one. I trusted her in that moment and in the heat of it, went okay and dived straight in, which is something I have never done before. Afterwards I said to her that I felt bad about not wearing one, that I said to myself I would never have sex without a condom to avoid unnecessary complications. And she said what complications? To which I replied like, I dunno, you getting pregnant and her literal response was me pregnant? Face with tears of joy, I can't get pregnant, I'm 36. I was like are you f I'm kidding me, and promptly got in a morning after pill, which resulted in no unwanted pregnancy one way or another. Like seriously, I feel like I don't even need to explain how dumb it is that a 36 year old woman didn't know she is still capable of getting pregnant. Clitoris, urethra, v, anus, one of those things is not like the others. Reddit is just as bad as a time waster as any other social media platform. Oh yay, I just wasted 7 minutes looking at this post before I head to work. Now I gotta rush out the door, not without making a comment OFC though. It's highly unproductive to film, laugh at, yell at, or similarly engage with people currently having a mental breakdown. The average person is chronically dehydrated, drink more water, stay hydrated, this is a threat. Don't ignore your thirst cues. Seriously. I once went to the hospital because of dehydration. It's not fun. The number of people who just randomly turn things hoping that it goes the correct way for what they want to do is amazing. Remember folks it's righty tighty and lefty loosey. That intelligent people can see through their balls, and would just rather not be bothered with calling them out on it. This sums up every story that ends with, and no one even noticed. People did notice, but they didn't care enough to mention it, or were too polite to, to the point of lying and saying that they didn't notice. How vaccines work. If they make you sick, it's because they're working. Your body is mounting a defense and creating antibodies to help fight off infection. A lot of really smart scientists have devoted their entire lives to keep us safe against life-threatening infection and people who have no medical training refuse them. That freedom of speech doesn't mean you can say whatever you want without consequences or other people giving you s about it. It just means you can't go to jail for criticizing the government. Turn signals. They're not optional on cars for a reason. Use them. A turn signal means you're intending to change direction and let other around you know this intention. It does not give you the authority to change direction. It's better to use water that's not quite boiling when you're making your tea. A British comedian called Dave Gorman does a great bit on this in a program called Modern Life is Goodish. Has graphs and everything and he discusses why the prevalence and popularity of coffee has had a negative impact on the quality of tea you now get from cafes. Very informative and very British. It's probably on YouTube somewhere if you fancy a laugh. Sharing someone's personal images, whether they are an adult or a minor, whether you are an adult or a minor, can still end you on the sex offender registry. Revenge Po is real, even for adults. Red on dead battery first, then red to donor, black from donor then finally black to bare metal on stalled car or black terminal when jumping a car battery. 
How to properly wipe their butt and wash hands. It was extremely worrying at the start of the pandemic when people started making a big deal out of needing everyone to wash their hands. Like, grown ass adults aren't already washing their hands? How to perform CPR. Homophones. It's ridiculous. What do you have against gay phones? Let them marry. Like stupid basic things about their car and what to do in emergencies controlling said car. Should of is not should of. Don't just pet someone's dog. Always ask first. Basic computer knowledge. If you don't even know how to extract a zip file you better leave this job. It's fine not to know how to extract a zip file. It's not fine not to know how to google how to extract a zip file. Almost all of humanity's knowledge about daily topics is right there, at your fingertips. You just have to access it. And still, lots of people seem to prefer helplessness. The definitions of fascism and socialism, and the fact that they are not the same thing. Edit. I surprised how quickly I was proved right by some of these comments. A cold is a virus. Being cold doesn't spontaneously generate the cold virus. We are responsible for our actions and their consequences. That the health of your teeth, gums, and mouth is directly related to the health of your heart and how much inflammation exists in your body. That on ramps are meant to accelerate to the speed limit but the time you reach the highway you're entering. People get to the end and they're still going 35 miles per hour. What are you doing? In the United States, when you're a pedestrian walking on a road with no sidewalks, you should walk on the left side of the road so you can see oncoming traffic. This gives you precious extra seconds if they're driving like an ass. How to change a tire. A lot of newborns die from coiloping. My wife works in social services and she sees it a lot for such a small county. It's rarely druggy people either. It's normal, hardworking people that just didn't think it would hurt anything. It's awful, and never worth the risk. Yet so many generations and families act like it's no big deal and that all the doctors are crazy. Mars Pet Care is ruining the practice of vet and by overworking and underpaying veterinarians. They also significantly lower the standard of care for pets, and they price fix. Mars owns Banfield, Vcar, and Blue Pearl. That's half the veterinarians in North America. Google is not a truly reliable source of information. Wanna prove the Earth is round? 30 seconds on Google will provide a few dozen articles proving it. Wanna prove the Earth is flat? 30 seconds on Google will provide a few dozen articles proving it. That the yolk of an egg does not develop into the chick. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. They don't speak Brazilian in Brazil. Men and women have the same number of ribs. Fact checking. Most of people are prone to fake news and propaganda nowadays. That social media isn't real life. Women can get pregnant on their period. That you don't lose things. Basic arithmetic. Don't be an ass. People don't like it when you're being an ass. Frankenstein isn't the name of the monster. It's the name of his doctor who created him. Completely worthless information still. I thought it may fit here. No Frankenstein was the monster the creature was in fact innocent. For only a monster would attempt to pervert the laws of nature. Turn signal. Turn lane. Turn. Major human organs and where they are. 